All right, shout out to Lumos Like you about that. We're back at it. We're going to jump back into this James 4 and 4. All right, this is James chapter 4, verse 4. It says, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the word is enmity with Yahweh? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the word is an enemy of Yahweh. So, man, it, the, the friendship of the word is hatred with the Most High, man. Just like that uh, uh, John was just talking about. You know, so if you you uh, you caught with this word, man, you are an enemy of the Most High. And David just, David has said in that Psalms 139 that he hate them that hate the Most High, man. He count wow. them as his enemies. So you being a friend of the word, you are being counted as the Most High's enemy and the his people who follow him enemy. And the you know? Most High hates you as well. Come on, come on. That's where that hatred comes from, you know? Hey, they, bro, where, is they, where do these people get these doctrines from? Hey, man, where, where do you get your emotions from? You get your emotions from the Most High. So how can he have them? Right. How, how, how come? Wait, hold on. Check this out, bro. You got you, you got something that the creator does not have. Hey, check this. That, that don't make no sense. How, how, how do I got emotion that the most high don't get, man? All right? So so you saying that you can love uh, uh, eating eating candy, but you can hate eating chocolates, but the most high can't hate something? Look. What the hell is wrong with you people? You Look. bugged out, man. The Lord has shows your uh, delusion. Man, the Lord is all about balance, man. How the hell can he have balance? Man? Huh? You can't just be all this. You gotta weigh it out, man. Lord uh -huh. can't just be all love. He gotta have some hate. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You said, "Where do they get it from?" Uh, Mark seven to seven. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men? Man, men taught you that all oh, God is all love. Uh, he gonna love you whether you sin or not, man. And that's not right, man. The Lord hates you. The scriptures say the Lord hates you if you sin it, man. He gonna turn your back to you. you're sinning. The Lord's uh, he hates you. And he said he gonna uh, smoke you if you if you don't turn away from that, man. Uh -huh. Simple as that. <clears throat> I got one. You got that Romans. This is Romans chapter 9 and verse 12. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. All right, man. So hey, uh that, that don't sound like uh the Lord loves everybody, man. All right, somebody gotta serve somebody. That's right. Okay. So now it says, As as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. All right. So Pursuing back to that Micah, man. All right. The Lord uh, loves Jacob and he hates Esau. Okay. So now I'm going to jump down. You know, I'm going to get a quick uh, precept. Can I prove a point real quick? Oh, uh, yeah. Kind of. uh, this Psalms 147 and 19. <clears throat> it says, He showeth his word unto Jacob and his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgment, they have not known them. Crazy how man. He said he don't even deal with them, man. So how you gonna love somebody that you don't even deal with, man? He didn't give uh his statutes commandment, his law to nobody else, man. Simple as that. The Lord, he's not just gonna oh, I love you, but I'm not gonna do nothing to you though. I'm not gonna uh I'm not gonna be a part of what you got going on, man. That, that's stupid, man. Yep. Uh, so I this is uh, Genesis shot the uh 36 verse 1. Now these are the generations of Esau who is Edom. All right. So Esau is Edom, man. Okay. So the Lord hates an entire nation of people. I right? hates their whole entire nation. So now I'm going to jump down. Let's see. I think that might be it on that. Are that wrong? Um, hold on. Yeah, but yeah, come. This is Romans chapter nine, verse fourteen. What shall we say then? Is there a righteousness with Yahweh? Yahweh forbid. All right. So hey, just because uh, uh, Yahweh hates uh, someone and, and loves the other person, is there unrighteousness with him? No, man. All right. It is all balance. Okay. Because you can't, you cannot love everything, man. It's impossible. Because guess what? Esau Edom is the border of wickedness, man. He is the evil. So if Yahweh Bashim Yahshai loves uh, Esau, which is the evil, that means that the Lord is going off. That means that the Lord, uh, 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 um, that means that the Lord loves uh, people who do, who do wickedness. All right. That means that the Lord uh, should have killed people then, right? Because because reason why we die is, is because of the wages of sin. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So, so, so if Esau Edom is a wicked and the Lord loves him, that means that no one should die. Everyone should be able to right. do whatever they want to. Everyone should follow after Alice Crowley's uh, uh, ideology. Do yeah, as thou um, will. Kind. That make uh, God a liar, man. Yeah. Come on now. Hey, hey, hey man, don't forget to say that uh, Yahweh is not a man. Uh, uh, that that should lie. Uh, Kind. You know what's here? All the confusion. Kind. Kind, man. Huh? Yeah, man, but uh, you got something? Yeah, I'll just go finish it with this. It's locked. It's, uh, this second Ezra chapter 8, verse 1, it says, And he answered me, saying, The Most High have made this world for many, but the world to come for few. So he made this man. Many people can, you know, prosper in this place and do anything, man. But the word that come, man, is it, it, it's only given into the that small remnant of Israel, man. Yeah. And that doesn't sound like he loving everybody, man. Yeah. He does, it's not even his. You know, all of his people that's going to be high, high. Of course, his people are going to be above the heathens, man. Yeah. But it's going to be a, a, a balance to it. It's going to be a, a, a order yeah. to it. Kind of, kind of. Well, I think order. Kind of. Yeah, um, yeah, I just uh, we well, see you want to end it on that, right? I mean, we could. I, I just said I, that was the end of me. Oh, well, kind. Of, I just got one more. This is Roman chapter nine and fifteen. Uh, for for he said to Moses, "I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will uh, have compassion." All right, say, man, he's the Lord, man. Right, he can do whatever he wants, man. He writes the story. You don't write the story. You don't get to choose what role you want to play when you're the character, man. That don't make any sense. Con, you don't question that director, man. Con. Con. You, 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 you're the character in the story, and you're going to play that <laughs> role. No matter how you feel about it, you're going to play the role, man. Con. And he's doing anything he wants, but he's doing it all in righteousness. Righteous. Con. Right. All the righteous, man. Right. Yep. Uh, that's it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. All right, with that, we want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, 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 Yahweh, and uh, salutations to all the other Aki pushing this work with truth and sincerity and with charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball.